So today, it is such a great pleasure to have an extraordinary lady in my podcast, What's Next? She's not only a very good friend of mine, uh, an extremely great example for female empowerment, but she's as well a woman which has an amazing story and she is using her life story to change the world, to change the world of many women of all around the globe. But let me now introduce Monica Bucher. Welcome to yeah. my podcast. Hello. <laughs> oh, come on. This is long overdue. And I am so glad to be here. I am grateful uh, for you to give me this opportunity. It's such an honor to speak to my fellow women about what we do and who we are and where we are taking this because we are going somewhere, right? So do we, so yeah. do we. Okay, yeah. So tell to the audience, who is Monica Bucher? Where does she come from? What is her story? Mm -hmm. So who is Monica Bucher? Monica Bucher is a social entrepreneur. Um, I am a founder of Daughters of Africa uh, Foundation, which is registered in Germany. I am a Kenyan German, uh, Kenyan a uh, woman who resides in um yeah who resides in germany mm -hmm. i am married to a wonderful german man and i have a wonderful son too fairly wonderful and uh also i am a sister i am a mother uh of many children in the community often and vulnerable children Mm -hmm. and also found, founder of More Hills Tours and Hosting Company. I'm also the founder of Africa Queens in Business, wow. an organization that uh, works closely with women in Africa and also the diaspora. And also I am the patron of a football company, uh, uh, academy called the Ali Abondo Academy back in Kenya. That's so impressive. I mean, of course, all listeners now, there was so many information and certainly we make sure that in the text underneath, you're going to find all these beautiful links and all this information where you can then dig deeper. But I mean, Monica, that's so impressive what you Thank do. You. Thank you. And it's, you. it's it shows that, yeah, women, when they really found their path and their why, then once they start to run, they really run. So They yes, run. <laughs> you give them that baton and they truly, truly run. There's no stopping. And another thing I would want to just to mention, by the virtue of being a Kenyan, we are runners. We are runners. Uh, one of our runners is Kipchoge Keino, and he says um, there's no limits, you know? No human is limited. So that is one vision or, or a story that we are taking out there, that we can do anything. There's no limit to what you can do. And uh, we are here just to hold hands to, to the global community and say, let's run together, mm. right? Yes. And this is what you're saying. Uh, in order to make a change, you yourself start to be a change. And this is what right. you do by yourself, being an example for your family, but as well for all, the, for all this organization you actually found. Yes. And I mean, imagine now if you wouldn't have started with that. I mean, that would have changed the life of so many people. Yes. It's so impressive. I mean, that you yes. use your network, your power in order to change the, the world, to change the yes. world of women, because we all know that women have a quite a disadvantaged life in many, many countries all around the globe, especially mm -hmm. also in, in, uh, in Africa and in Kenya. That's a, that's a tip, uh, a big topic to, to mention yes. about. Yes. Um, yeah, when a woman is given, a woman is the is a root of change, mm -hmm. because the woman is an incubator of dreams and also the incubator of of life. Yes. When a woman is given a seed, she will grow it. She will nurture that, grow grow it, and it will develop into a fruitful, fruitful uh, tree. So at the end of the day, one once you give it to a woman, you know that it is safe. As much as we also advocate for men, but this time we want to say that uh, let's try giving it to a woman and let's see where it goes. Because it has also been known that uh, 
uh, where I come from in Africa, women also led, you know, um, uh, in history. Uh, there was oh, uh, Nefriti of Egypt, there was the Kandaki queens of the North, North Africa, and uh, these were women queens, the Ethiopian queen of Sheba was also an African, and they were given wow. businesses, they were in charge of businesses, mm -hmm. and so we are also coming up with a message to the African women who, who statistics have shown that in Botswana, by 2021, uh, there were 56.3% business uh, women-owned businesses, yeah? And then in South Africa, that goes to, by 2021, that was 54.9%. And then in Ghana, 51.1%. Uh, but Egypt kind of is a little bit uh, on the low side, uh, but still coming up. That was 32.9%. Uh, then my question, when I came, when I started all this, my question is, where is Kenya? Where is Kenya? Because I want to see many female-owned businesses uh, so that we can have the well-being of our nation. And so as I kept on just working on Kenya, I found out that it's different in many areas. And uh, for many women, because when I came to Germany, I found out that also the businesses, not many of them are owned by women who are coming out and saying, I am, this is a female owned business. They are kind of out in a generation, they create generational businesses, and they are owned by the forefathers of the home. And uh, one of that uh, examples is the Stadler Pencil, uh, which was founded uh, a while back in the 19 somethings, very far behind, but it has um, evolved to a point that now it is embracing technology. And this Tedla pencil is a pencil that we used to see back at home being brought in Kenya from Ke in, to Kenya as donation. Yeah. And so following the journey, I, I thought we can do this too and bring up generational businesses that is passed through the families. And when the family is right, then the, the nation will be okay and the globe will also be uh, a good place for economic development. Wow. Wow. I mean, I didn't know all these figures you just told and this just proves how important it is that women are helping each other no matter where they're coming from so yes. just like we met yes. and, uh, we are encouraging ladies with our female empowerment master classes yes. and all that to really get into their into the acceptance of their greatness in order yes. you know, to do so many other things for themselves and their own Ye business. yes and i'm very excited about what we are doing i'm so excited <laughs> about what you're doing uh that is a dream come true just to find that person that you have you have the same vision almost the same yeah. but with with the same energy also and then again when we met for the first time i think i should say this when we Go met ahead, for yeah, the first yeah. time we just been talking yeah. talking in the background then we met on zoom for the first time and our energies just clicked and there we are in 45 minutes. We both knew what we wanted. We were done. And that is how we created something that is now going to be a global movement. Yes. And I love that. I yeah. love that. Yes. 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 Yeah, dear listener, what just Monica really told is going to be a great project. We're going to soon announce more where everybody can be part of it. And that's exactly what is so great on our technology we have offered now to get together. It doesn't matter anymore where people are sitting so this is also an encouraging for every single one now listening to this that please go ahead stand up and find your sisters and brothers who have the same dream and vision and just make it reality this is on every single one of you so just, just like definitely. monica is doing with her project i'm doing with mine and now we get together and we're going to form something amazing and i'm really really excited hard not to tell more about it right <laughs> yeah 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 definitely but please monica tell uh the listeners a bit more about the travel agency you as well are taking care for other uh, travel agency which is called mohills tours and hosting uh where we uh 
also empower women to take up vacations with a purpose. Yeah. And we uh, we say that uh, when you go to a place, uh, when you go to Rome, do as the Romans do. And for us is also that the as when we go to Rome and while we do as the Romans do, we should also Romans should also ask us what we what we've come with, because where we come from, we come from uh, a place where we have culture and so many different values, so many values that were passed on to us from many generations. And so when we go to our rooms, quote unquote, it is good that the we we find our place in that at that place and then make sure that we also bring that culture that unites and forms one big community where we learn from each other and develop the the the, the universe as uh, a beautiful place uh, that is habitable uh, by all yeah very well said mm -hmm. yeah besides all this project you are also like a consultor you are mentoring people huh? you are not only back in germany but also like leading and helping people women especially like in kenya to support them is there any project uh, at this very moment you would like now to mention and to share with the with the audience in order for them to get maybe even you know their support? Is there something you would like to share from your all your this brilliant projects you're having? <laughs> okay, I don't know. As a mother, you have also like you when you have children, all your children are uniquely talented and you want to help all of them yeah. and so as a woman uh, in social entrepreneurship you kind of find different people who are also gifted uniquely uh, uh, and you want to help each one of them according to their ability uh, help them grow their talent and so when I started my talent uh, acquisition and development uh, journey where now I say, like, I have found my purpose. How do I help another person uh, or another woman find their purpose? And I kind of, I didn't start with the women, you know, because women was a personal journey. I, I went out for the youth, mm -hmm. um, which was also a transition from the kindergarten level, the children of the kindergarten. So as I evolved now to the youth, um, my the youth wanted to come out and do things and they were saying oh you know what we don't have is the capital and I said if you have yourself if you find yourself then you have the capital because your gift that is a capital and if you have people around you social capital because the if it is when it comes to finances money is with people so if you know people, of course you got the money. So how do you network and how do you bring that together so that you can start your business because you can talk to someone who knows someone or who uh, can help you. And the ideas, idea is currency. So when you come up with ideas, they, uh, you are able to form a big, big, big organization. One of the examples that I always talk about is when Henry Ford, Henry Ford started the Ford vehicle. Mm -hmm. He said uh, he went out, bought one vehicle, dismantled all of it, and he wanted to see what was in there. And his friends thought he was crazy, but he had a dream. He wanted to see how this thing is put on the road and is running and can carry people ferry people from one destination to another. And so what he did is dismantle it several times until he got the trick of how to assemble a whole vehicle. And that has created a generation of Ford business, you know, that has been taken for many years. And so I say, if that one person can or main other people who are doing the same can, then we can do too, because it only takes an idea to start something uh, beautiful uh, for the whole humanity to enjoy. It's a very good example you brought with Henry Ford, but what I really like now was that the currency, you know, that your ideas is your currency. That's yes. such a great 
slogan because it's really true. It's everything here. And with all this way of technology which comes up and people are afraid, I mean, that's something that no, no computer can ever take because it's a combination of, of creativity. It's a combination of passion, of love, of empathy, of connection. And that's something which is unique of us humans. Beautiful, beautiful. Very well said, yes. Monica. Yes. At well, least now that tells um, of a story of where I come from and where why I'm passionate with this. Yes, and I love what you say about I uh, that you also have the the same ideology about ideas being the currency. Yes, lovely. It's a, it's a great, great saying, and it actually it really points it out on the on the fact what it's all about. You know, and mm. every single person has its own idea, and yes. then such as we did get together and just create your own project and in order mm -hmm. to change the world. Yes. You know, Monica, I mean, we both could talk for hours. Maybe we should oh, we a do. TV show or something, you know, in order really to make this We podcast. never finish talking. Yeah. Unfortunately, the podcast is on a very short time frame. I'm sure we're going to have many more opportunities, especially when we talk more about sure. our new sure. projects to get on, 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 on broadcast. Mm -hmm. Is there any, any advice, any tip you would like to give to the audience in this very moment, just right now, in order for sharing. Um, I want to say thank you very much once again. Like uh, I'm eternally grateful that I you came to we 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 met on our path, uh, in our journey of destiny, and um, just finding our purpose and leaving our purpose. That that was very yeah. beautiful. And uh, what I'd also want to say is that this comes from a place of love. If we all love one another and we don't see each other from where we come from, what we do and everything when it comes to all those things that have created, been created uh, by human mind that can distract the purpose journey. If we just veer out of that and come to a purpose journey, and take what it is about, it is all about love. If we love each other, we are going to develop and also create a better place to live in. Yeah? Well said. Truly speak out of my heart. Yeah. So the solution and the answer is truly love. And you are full of love. I mean, this is your whole appearance, <laughs> your whole smile. I mean, look at your beautiful smile. Such Thank an you. amazing yeah. thing. Thank you. And you are you're not only talking, you're really living your passion, your your path, your calling. Yes, and that's definitely, definitely a great message to share. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad that we could really manage it and uh, yeah. to make sure that you are giving out the words over the platform. Thank you very much for your time, Monica. Thank you very much. And then My pleasure. It was an honor being with you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to many. Yeah. Yes, I'm looking yes. forward to go through our program. And as thank we you. already said, dear audience, thank you very much as well for your patience, for your time you invested, you. that you listened to the beautiful words of uh, Monica. As a summary, we really can say you are the change. So make sure that you start no matter where you are at the moment, how old you are, where you are. If you want to see a change in the world, make sure that you start. This is the ending of this beautiful podcast. Thank you very much for listening. And I'm going to see and hear you next time. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye.